these look like good books. Aedra and Daedra. Chances Folly. There's potions on the shelf here. Looks excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. Sorry, Edgard. Piper, are you okay? What the heck? Um, looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. hungry? Maybe this is more like Vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. Oh, hello. That's not going to fight the dragon. And down you go. Steel helmet of minor alteration. Happy New Year, Dragon. <laughs> Too bad. too bad. What is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> the 
saved. Fix that jerk. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I am taking the win, even if I have... That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. That was a shot and a half. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! My god. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. That's camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although. Well, that was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Maritime Measures In the great maritime city of Babylon, the introduction of standardized units has not been well received. Already mistakes have been made with quantities of materials and engineering calculations. Shipbuilders and merchants alike warn that their commercial interests will be harmed if they are forced to adopt the new measurements. Should they be given an exemption? Hell fucking no. Enforce. The city will need to adapt even if it harms industry. We'll need authority oversight to ensure compliance. Lock down on Babylon for 20 turns.
don't give me this garbage. We're too dumb to make the switch. Mistakes will happen. It'll cost. Yes, it'll cost. Deal. Yes, I am Lokaius, your wolf god. And now, you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolf kind. It feels like coming home. Transformation? Or oaths? Don't be a flapping fool, Timon. Timon kneels, and beneath him a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse, wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock he kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A geode of understanding splits and catches light. Beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon! I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Another step. Um, Nettie? That works. Oh. Good evening, folks. Tonight we're going to be playing some City Skylines. I've been kind of back and forth on how much I wanted to play this one before the second one comes out, but when it gets down to it, we just, we don't, we haven't seen gameplay of Cities 2, and we don't know the release date. <sighs> and I still feel the urge to play City Builders pretty regularly, so we're going to keep going with it. Crowd control is enabled, just so you guys are aware. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? There we go. Okay. I hope everyone is doing all right. It looks like we've got a city under construction. We do have this big area out here we need to move into. What is going on? We may have a small forest fire. That's hilarious. Okay, I think in light of complaints you guys have made, uh, not real complaints, but, you know, observations that you've made. I'm going to try to hold off on actually buying new areas like this one until I have a genuine use for it. Because you guys raise a good point when you talk about crowd control and how it's just, it you know, it it reduces the target area and makes it less fun. And I do want this to be fun. Not just because it means you guys give me money, but because, I mean, the whole point was to make the streams more fun, right? So, it's kind of self-defeating if I make it more difficult than it needs to be. So, we're going to try to move into this area and maybe even across the river here sooner rather than later. Hey, Anstara, how's it going? It's good to see you. So I'm just trying to get a handle on what we've got going on. Okay, first of all, what I notice is I really haven't done any districting so far. We've got the farmland area, and that's really about it. I am very glad to hear that. That's much better than the alternative.
Okay, so what the heck were we doing? Okay, so clearly... Wait. But, what? Wait. Oh, okay, so I must have started with this area? It looks like. The highway came down just into this area. I split off it, or, you know, sort of continued with an with a boulevard. And then later I started moving over here as my industrial area with my agriculture. And we started making this population zone. And I created this round interchange, cloverleaf interchange, for the highway further up. Okay, okay. I kind of wish it were daytime. I can't really make out what's going on. This is what happens when I don't play for a couple of months and I come back to an old save. That's okay, though. So where are we at? We are... This is Portmount. We've got commercial demand, which is always good. We've got a population of... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me see if I can adjust this. Uh, where are we? There we go. That should be okay. So we have a population of 6,606. And we're making pretty decent money right at this particular moment in the snapshot, although that can vary up and down a lot. I so can't wait for Cities 2, though. I really can't wait. That's going to be so good. Okay, so I think this whole core area here, we might extend our agricultural efforts over this way. This entire region is just really heavy agriculture. We could do a little bit of a forestry thing in there. Although I don't know if it's really worth it. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, so where are we here? Big town. So that gave us a new area. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to try to buy new areas right away. I have so far. We've got the two extras. But you guys have mentioned, you know, the whole crowd control thing. The faster I open up new areas without having built in them, the less of a chance your stuff has of actually having any impact at all, so it's not very fun. I'm going to try to keep it fun. Much to my citizens' dismay. So we're not going to open up any new territories for a little while. So we need a population of 7,500, and then we become a small city, and that's when it looks like we start getting some fun options for transit. So we're going to work towards that. Let's unpause. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> this doesn't seem quite good. Ah. Uh. Maybe we will start a brand new city. I don't know. I wonder if maybe some of the workshop mods updated or something. That's the other potential risk of not having played for a couple of months. All right, fine. We'll do it. We're going to start a new city, and I'm not going to buy any new expansions for the territory until we... Uh, we we're, 
we actually, I won't say until I've filled the space that I've got, but until I've got a legitimate use for and intent to build in the new stuff. Hey, Mr. Soggy Roman, how's it going? All right. New game. What are we going to do? Let's actually, I will use one of the airport things, I think. So, base theme is tropical, temperate, boreal. Let's, we'll go with the, we'll do the beach one. Tempted to waste 150 bucks on Fallout 4 Creation Club content. What kind of content costs that much money? <laughs> Fair enough. All of it. I mean, I really enjoy all the Creation Club content you got with the Anniversary Edition of Skyrim. The Fallout 4 content is probably of similar quality, I would think. I mean, that was kind of the whole point of the Creation Club. So, it doesn't seem too crazy to me. Of course, you may kick yourself if they ever release a, sort of an Anniversary Edition-like thing of fallout 4 in say another two years or thereabouts and give you access to all of that content for 10 or 20 bucks like they did with skyrim but on the other hand you'll have had it for two years already at that point and gotten to enjoy it so okay so let's take a look see we've got ourselves a river we've got a highway with an interchange we will probably end up changing the interchange well maybe not i could probably buy this area here and put in a new one to cross over if i need to okay so that all goes down there let's take a look at our we can't never mind uh we need to start building so get rid of that that opens up some new stuff for us give myself a little space here Actually, you know what? We can be a little more scientific about this. No. So that's four. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, maybe not. We'll go over eight from each. Eight. Not seven or nine. There. I can't do ramps yet, right? OK. 
Okay, so that should be 12 long. I had a 8 down from it, I believe it was. That seems unnecessarily great a distance, but let's see if I can make that. No? Okay. Oh, you know what? I remember what the trick is. I remember. It's coming back to me now. You draw in with dirt roads and then upgrade. Or maybe not. Fine. Okay, now we need to adjust this. So we want that doesn't seem right. I guess it has to be. I mean, I guess I could dedicate that to a turning lane. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, no, there shouldn't be. Although, you can't hear the game sound, so I've corrected that. Uh, actually, there should be game music, but it doesn't play all the time in this game. Just going to have to try and control myself in my spending until Starfield is released. Yeah. I'm a little annoyed about the Starfield release date. I have to admit, I try to play it off as not a big deal, but it's kind of a little bit of a big deal. It's coming out like a week or two after the release of Baldur's Gate 3. Which is going to affect my stream schedule something fierce. Uh, okay. Okay, so that looks good now. Oh, right. Damn it. Okay, so our only water is up here. We have to be seriously careful. So let's take care of water right now then. I think we've built on this map before. This looks very familiar. Well, it's also a little unavoidable in a way on Stara. I mean, this is 2023, the year of every game ever releasing all at once. Okay, so we want our outflow here. And we want our intake here, far, far away from the outflow. And then we just want to link those together. It won't let me. Weird, but okay. Okay, so we've got those. Now we're going to need power. I think I'll do a dedicated power situation for these guys. Actually, no. You know what? Never mind that. Oh, it still won't let me look at natural resources. I hate that so much. Why couldn't they release these games the past two years? Because, well, I mean, people tend to get a little bit upset when companies release games when they're not done yet. They could have. Would probably have been a mess. Well, 
What the heck? Jim coming in with the resub. Why did the kid throw his watch out of a fifth story window? We wanted to see how time flies just like this subversary. Damn, Jim. Thank you so much for coming in with 27 heckin' months. That is really seriously appreciated. How are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Very uneventful years, yeah. Yeah, everybody was just sitting around doing nothing. Okay. I think what we're going to do is start planning ahead a little bit. I'm actually going to use another one of these. Oops, except not as that. We're going to go here. I'm going to go out 24 and out another 24. Yep, Jim Racer, that is, that's exactly it. Hey, Space Vikings, how are you doing? It's good to see you. What's going on? I hope all is well. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to take this and we're going to come out here and here, loop those in. And there we go. Now we need to take care of that water situation. pretty well. Pathfinder was cancelled, so just doing some work on personal PCs that I've been meaning to do for weeks. I'm sorry to hear about Pathfinder, but it's good that you've got something to work on. Just about done that, then going to read my Call of Cthulhu bestiaries to see what bad guy I'm throwing at the group next scenario. That's awesome, Vikings. Hey, Sketchy, it's going all right. How are you doing? Okay, now let's take a look at these. There we go. Okay, I think that's all of our intersections we need to worry about. Hey Romney, how's it going? No, because I typically tend to do industry off this direction for whatever reason. Let's see if we can't build this out a little bit right from the get-go. do that and we're going to put a coal power plant close to the highway over here. And I just ran new stuff so we need to do water as well because otherwise there will be complaints. I guess it helps if we actually do some manner of power connections and possibly, call me crazy, but there might be a need for some zoning.
we can consider those power lines temporary. Got some ice cream right after you got in the work? Nice. Been putting it off till now. Good evening, everyone. Hoping your day's been a good one. So far, so good, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Better now that I'm streaming. But it's actually been a particularly good day. My efforts to de-stress are starting to be successful in measurable ways, so that's positive. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Like these, mm, you know what, we're going to do a kind of a core area. Have some commercial down there. And I will extend that all the way across here to act as a buffer. So we're going to put residential all through here. That doesn't make sense. Do that way as the buffer. That's all industrial. As is that. And I'm definitely going to need a lot more residential because that's way too much industrial. And in fact, probably too much commercial, but that's okay. We can fill it out, and we can just build up our residential. What's your opinion on mint chocolate? I, uh... I mean, it really depends on the mint chocolate. Generally favorable, but there are some that are better than others. It's a good combination. Okay, now while we let people move in, I'm going to fiddle with this stuff. So we're going to make that a dedicated turning lane, I think. And I guess most of these are probably okay. I don't know that there's a whole lot I can really do with most of this. There used to be a really good mint chocolate liqueur. Oh, really, Alias? Why is that? What happened to it? Oh, I guess I can speed this up a little, too. Uh, let's do the old temporary power line trick over here as well. Until the connection is made. go. Connection is made. Most of your friends don't like mint chocolate. Why are these people your friends? Are they truly your friends? My day wasn't good. I can't stand on waiting on others to do their jobs for me to do mine. Also, last minute things people bring up that could have been brought to our attention hours before they were. Ended up leaving half an hour wait. Oh god, I'm sorry. That sucks. Okay, as far as in-game music goes, let's see what stations I have available. We can't do Gold FM, because that one is specifically called out by the game as being not safe for streaming. Um... Please note some of the radio channels have licensed music and cannot be used when streaming. Channels unavailable for streaming Gold FM. <laughs>
don't know if the distillery went out of business or if they just stopped producing that product. Surely somebody else must make something along those same lines, right? I mean, I'm expecting to get to finally try some peanut butter whiskey very shortly. I mean, not like shortly as in today, but within the next week or so. If they make that, and there are multiple companies that make it, mint chocolate has to be a thing. Concerned Ape said that his music can be used perfect. Okay, we're growing pretty good here. Teflon-coated underwear sell like hotcakes. Straps required to keep... Damn it. To keep said underwear in place. Non-stick pants. Wow. When they said, wow, those pants are pretty slick, that's probably not what they meant. Probably not. Probably not. This one was made in Holland, came in a Delft-style bottle with a tulip lid. Huh. Okay, I've definitely never seen or tried that. But if it truly is the only type that was made, then there's a golden opportunity there for somebody. Oh god, you know what I forgot to do? I'm forcing traffic to go around in loops because we do not have a turn lane here. Let's see if that works a little better. They're kind of a... Uh, oh, okay. They're starting to use it now. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate. I think it's been long enough. I appreciate that. Hydration is important. Welcome on in, hero. Yeah, I do intend to eventually have more variety in the quotes, Jim Racer. I have a big file that I put together with uh, dozens of them. But Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Oh, God. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. I don't see a tornado. Oh, never mind. It was so big it looked like a mountain range. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Please keep in mind, I literally just started the city, and you could very, very, very easily bankrupt me. <laughs> I don't think this is going to do it if it doesn't move too much further in. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Oh, look at the poor cars. Oh my god. I never saw the traffic effects before. That's amazing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I can't repair the highway. A tornado has touched down in the area. 
Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Thank you, Vikings. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Oh, my God. Well played. I love the cars spewing everywhere. You know what? Oh, God. The highway. I can't fix the highway. Let me see what I can do with the highway. I can't... Well, I can't... I can't fix it with highway pieces. But I can fix it with other pieces. And then when I can eventually do highway bits, I can put it back the way it's supposed to be. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can. Why would you... Why would you do a tsunami on a river map? Or did you maybe not realize what map I was using here? Uh... Hang on. I need to be able to see the crowd control dashboard anyway. Oh, it's all updated. It's different. What the heck? Um... Let me try running the game for a little bit. I don't see the hurricane. I see almost like a pile of what look like... sort of generic sample events. I want to refund you if I can. I'm just legit not sure if I can. My session is clearly running. You've been able to affect the game, but... Nothing that I'm looking at seems to match what's happened. I've got CC exchange channel points for co zero coins. Uh, CC subscribed tier one for zero coins. CC exchanged bits for zero coins. CC sent effect. This is what a completed effect looks like. A ghost sent effect. The crowd pooled effect, which I know hasn't happened. CC queued effect. So I, uh, I, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm, this is a brand new version of crowd control. I haven't used it in a couple of months. So I don't know what's going on. If I can refund you, I will absolutely, but I really don't know what's happening with this at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay, so highway fixed. I just need to at least try to get this highway connection working again. I think that's okay. Where's tornado insurance? No kidding. Oh god, you took out the power plants! <laughs> Oh, no. No, oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow. 
what on earth? Oh, hey, that's actually a really good one. Thank you. Just pop that in there. Thank you. That will help immensely. Um, where did I leave off? You got a ton of points from the Skyrim streams. I was very tempted to play Skyrim tonight as well. City's one out, but Skyrim... Oh god, what now? Also, what the heck is with crowd control? Why is this not showing me what's going on in my session? Hang on. Let me see if I switch screens and go back. There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, Major Tsunami. Yes, I can refund that. There you go. You've been refunded. All I had to do was switch my view and pop back over to the dashboard, and it's fine. Oh, God. Everything's destroyed. Oh my god, what? Oh god, and Stara. Have you no pity? Oh my god. Uh, I can't replace that last little bit of road because I have no money. Please tell me I can at least demolish this crap. The game is paused while I try desperately to fix things. Pretty close, especially this one. I'm sure it'll be somewhere harmless. Yeah, see, the problem is my city's too small. You gotta wait to, like, grow more. You, you're, you're basically trying to be a sharpshooter when you actually have no ability to aim. Okay. Let's see if we can grow back a little bit. Uh, I can also do something about these highway bits. Wait. Wait, wait. I think I cheated the system, guys. I think it actually repaired the highways instead of replacing it with those other road types. That's amazing. Crap, you know what happened? I'm sitting here with all of the residential demand. Absolutely no commercial or industrial demand. And no more space for residential. Oh, actually, that's not true. I can zone more residential, can't I? I'm going to have to because we're not getting any growth until I do. At 
Van Hammer Bank, we want you to trust us with your money. Because it's with your money that we can make you more money. How? It's not funny business. It's money business. You give your money to Okay, us so now we have a small bit of commercial demand. Maybe that's too complicated for you. Imagine planting a money tree in the ground and watering it. Hold on. Imagine if you Okay, and now we're starting to get a little bit of industrial again. We might be able to turn this around before I go completely bankrupt. <laughs> I have a feeling you guys might have destroyed the city, though. We'll see. Let's see if we can recover. Oh. I need to... There. The city is on the brink of bankruptcy. You must cut services by shutting them down or raise taxes. Oh, I forgot about that, but I can't. I can't adjust the budget or taxes. It's too early. You can also take a loan if any are available. There are no loans available. Bailout option. If the above measures are not enough, you can take a bailout to save your city. Note that a bailout disables further achievements. I'm running modded. That's not a consideration. Let's accept. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vikings. I appreciate that. There we go. Little Hamlet. Taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, campus and education areas. It seems a little early for that, but I guess that's okay. But it does give us the elementary school and the recycling center. Okay, let's pause. I'm going to build out a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to go back to using these because they're really cheap. We're going to use dirt roads for a little while until we're a little more firmly established, I think. I'll do the avenues as avenues. But uh, regular streets. Where's 48? There we go. Oh my god, what is that? The ultimate recycling plant? Holy crap! Oh my god, that's 8,000 a week. The ultimate recycling plant recycles all garbage and processes raw materials. I didn't even know this existed. I can't afford to keep it, but that will be a hefty addition to my budget. So thank you very much. Uh, wait, what's the... That's half a million. The space bank is always open, unlike Silicon Valley Bank. That's true. There, I think I'm good for a little while. <laughs> Thank you, folks. We might be able to survive another tornado or two. I didn't even know that was a thing that could be built. That's impressive. Quick cash is what I intended that for. Thank you so much, Winters. Honestly, I was tempted to keep it. It's just that operating cost of 8000 a week is a little much for the current state of the city. I can't wait for cities too, I gotta tell you guys. Hey, hey, Romney, how's it going? Also, don't let me forget, we have two minutes until I need to start a, an ad break. So I'll run clips so you guys don't have to be bothered by all the ads. 
Well, you might still be bothered by the ads, but you won't miss anything at least. Let's put it that way. Okay, we're going to put residential all down there. And all down there. And now we're going to need water. Why did it have to be something useful too? Well, it's a lot better than that one time when I ended up with the, um, what was the wonder, what was it that did it? The Hadron Collider that I left in the city, let the city get acclimated to it, then deleted it and the entire city was basically unrecoverable. When you initiate a raid, what is the timer on it until it executes? Uh, it's two minutes actually, Jim Racer. Two minutes. It would have been a major gift, Winters, if I had kept it. The problem was I deleted it. That was a terrible, terrible idea that I will never make the mistake of doing again. You rarely let it run out? I usually do, but that's only because I've got the clip show to keep people entertained while they wait. This won't fill in yet, but we'll just make sure we've got it there for when it do is needed. Oh, and now I've got all these brand new fancy schmancy intersections that need adjusting too. should be good and now we have services we need to do I guess I don't need to worry about being able to do them so let's see I like recycling centers over garbage landfill sites so I think I'll put one in right here and because now you know what it's wasteful I'm not gonna do another one yet Gonna do a medical clinic. Right there. And the school, let me see. I expect I probably will need a landfill at some point, but uh, I'm going to put that off as long as I can. And now that I've got a little bit of money to burn... Let's just stick that there where it belongs. Oh, shoot! 
Ads in progress. I am so sorry, guys. I forgot. Even after I told you not to let me forget, I forgot all on my own. I'll be right back. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? Whoops. <laughs> um, very sorry. Oh my god. Hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet. But I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. No. Oh, that didn't work. Try again, will you? Come on. You got a shot. Nope, 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 not you. There we go. That's better. The hell? I apologize, folks. Even after reminding you, man, I totally spaced on that one. Sorry I let so many of those ads go by without uh, noticing. But we're back. Thank you, Jim. Now, I'm just going to keep using the dirt roads, I think, for now, until we get to a comfortable position where this number begins turning green again. Thank you, Vikings. So how much is this good for? Oh, 120 megawatts. We should be all right on power for a while then. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. A thunderstorm is battering the city. <laughs> stay indoors until the storm has passed. Thank you, folks. Uh, it's a shame I don't have a th any kind of a fire department, though. I made a new friend today. She works at a distillery and is going to send me a bottle of whiskey for free to try. Damn, Vikings, that's awesome. Crap. Okay, we do have some demand for industrial. I don't want to build a whole lot, but what we can do is I'm going to pop in just some additional stuff here so we can grow a little more. There you 
go. <laughs> That's okay, Howie. I am used to it. You should have seen the tornado that ripped through here a few minutes ago. It's local, so if I say it's kind of doxing. Fair enough, Vikings. Though you shouldn't have said that it was local, because... Oh, God, what happened? Oh, no. I forgot it takes out power lines. set the oil plant on fire. You've never seen the thunderstorm effect, so you wanted to see what it did? It causes a lot of fires, which is kind of a problem when the city is so early that you don't have access yet to fire departments. So I, I basically, I can't do anything. Oh, 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 emergency services. We might be saved here. We might be okay after all, maybe. I mean, the fire department has no power. Actually, that's wrong. That's also wrong, but I'm going to live with it for now. Now, what did we get with this besides fire and police protection? Specializations and districts. Okay. Oh, good. It's working without power. I am very relieved. We might be able to salvage this. Please don't destroy the building. I can't replace the oil refinery either. That was a crowd control gift. I mean, I will be able to eventually, but I don't have the option yet. Oh, okay. It looks like they're managing to put it out, maybe? 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 Ugh. Okay. This is concerning. I can't do anything about that, but it looks like we have managed to restore the oil power plant, so we're going to get power back. And the city lives a little bit longer. But look at all these frickin' fires. Even outside the city itself. Okay, I think I actually have changed my mind again. We're going to move this, and that's going to go there. Now, I might as well put this on maximum speed for a while. So we've got a fair bit of space for people to expand. Oh, we don't have enough industrial expansion. Let's... Fill this out a little bit.
Oh, actually, not done yet. Don't want to deal with the ever constant demands for water because they're never satisfied with anything. Seriously? <laughs> oh shoot, what happened here? I do not, Romney. I literally just started the city. The fire began before I even had the ability to build a normal fire station. We're not going to have the ability to build the helicopters for a while yet. Hey, we really turned this around. Look at this. We have a green number. We're profitable. Temporarily, I'm sure, but we're profitable. Fire Helicopter Depot. Yeah, we need a population of 5,500 for that. We have a way, ways to go for that. Coming up. And chat is just seeding rainstorms? Actually, no. Uh, it's only the one time. This rainstorm began with the, um, with the thunderstorm, and it's just kept going since. I mean, honestly, if that were an option, I would turn on rain all the time. I love the rain, especially in, you know, games like this. It looks so nice. It's so exciting to live in a city occasionally threatened by disasters. Is this a chill pain to distract from pain? I like to think so. People tell me it is. If you need to lurk and just hang out or chatter and just hang out, please feel free. Okay, we have hit Boomtown. That means we can get airport areas and the beginnings of transport. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. And I hope whatever pain it is you're in goes away quickly. Oh, and we have terraforming tools. Um, let's see if we can't fix this. Not perfect, but it will do. Broken arm recovery. Oof. Yeah, I uh, I hope you recover fast. That doesn't sound like fun. Okay. 
That'll do. The forest is kind of thinning out there. The scars from the tornado seem to be gone. <laughs> So, have Colossal Order released any new details about City Skylines 2? I occasionally see news stories pop up, but the headlines mostly look like they're recaps of what they originally announced. And I haven't taken the time to go over them yet. Okay, we're actually starting to get a little bit more residential demand and even a little commercial. But we still have room for that to fill in, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, does... Oh, oh yes. Okay, we can do parks and plazas. That's excellent. Oh, crap. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I need to start doing a few parks. That small park is rather large. We have an empty spot in here. This is gonna clobber some houses, but I think it'll be worth it. And I would also like a plaza somewhere up here. I've only seen a trailer, no actual gameplay. Yeah, and it was not a, a gameplay trailer, unfortunately. It was pre-rendered. But it is very possible that they were pre-rendering it in the actual game engine, which is an important thing to consider. One detail I know they didn't talk about in the presentation is that... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's leave it on three, actually, for now that I think about it. Um, they're using the Unity engine, which is interesting. So we'll have to see how that goes. And uh, the the YouTuber that I follow, who does all the City Builder videos, posted a really interesting analysis of what's going on and all the things that he noticed in it. Things like, you know, it, it's kind of implied very heavily that... <laughs> uh, it, it's implied very heavily that... Oh, crap. <laughs> Careful with the meteor strikes, guys. I know they're very tempting, but my city is still only a little patch in the available area. And your meteor strike will land in the area, but you might want to save the meteor strikes until I occupy a bigger proportion of it. But thank you for asking. How do you pronounce your username. Is it Artiman? I'm doing pretty good tonight. Doing pretty good. It's been a good day. Artiman. Okay. Alright, how are we doing? Oh, suddenly we have massive demand for residential. What the heck? Oh, I didn't... I never finished my... There. Let's get some more of this going. Local innovator Artemin Amstrad announces new product, Smart Pasta. I'm down. I'd try it. Hopefully, Smart Pasta is pasta that's keto-friendly by default, because that would be really nice.
So smart pasta is pasta, but you boil it in electrolytes. <laughs> okay, I, 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 the carb count might keep me away for a little while, but uh, you know, maybe on a cheat day, I could give that a shot. Okay, everything's coming up pretty all right so far. Oh, right. Uh, wait, no, hang on. Sewage... Tr We've already gone into the yellow on sewage treatment. Wow. I feel like anyone that does the chirper one should try and explain what they're given from the game. <laughs> I think people have done that in the channel before. Okay, now it looks like commercial is our highest demand, which is interesting. Ah. Uh. Okay, that'll do. Gonna go read these bestiaries. Might be back later, but if not, have a great night. Thank you so much, Vikings. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the books. Good luck coming up with horrible atrocities to sick on your players, and I will catch you again soon, if not later. doing with our garbage oh not good <laughs> yeah this is I think I might actually need to do the landfill thing I don't love doing it but the one recycle plants not cutting it by the looks of it actually you know what let's do can I oh do I have these industry roads. Just to add a little character. Okay. 
People can deliver the trash themselves. I actually didn't realize that. Maybe I will then. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, we're now back to massive demand for extra population, or at least housing. Um, I don't suppose... Ah, uh, we can. Okay. So I kind of want to do agriculture over here. So I think I'm going to focus more on expanding downwards rather than out here. So let's start doing a little bit of districting. Just real quick for now. I didn't realize that either. That's really cool. I love the attention to detail in this game. It makes me even more excited for two. I love that they appear to be, I know we can't know for sure, but they appear to be looking at finally doing the changing seasons, which always really bummed me out that that's not a thing in this one. You're a Skylines nerd. Very nice. I have a lot of years of experience in this game, but it's very often on, so I'm not like, you know, um, there are players out there who are walking encyclopedias of it. I'm, I'm not at that level. I'm at the enthusiastic, but not really super, super knowledgeable. I guess I would probably say I'm your average player. Oh, that is really awesome, Artemon. I didn't realize that at all. I love that. Kind of eyeing this road and trying to decide if I really want all these cars parking along the side. I think I'll allow it for now. Right now it's still kind of that small town. also be time to start going back to using regular road pieces instead of the farm roads because we're growing pretty well at this point. Ringtones in every commercial. 
commercial that make you think your phone is ringing. Whether you have a phone and your phone or just leave it behind, make sure you always hear your phone in our commercials. It's our way of saying hmm. we hear you. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls pick it up. It's for you. Curious. I'm famous chef Tony McGoney, owner of Tony McGoney's Steakhouse. And when people ask me where I get my award-winning meat from, it's from one place, Meaty Bits. No matter what you need, be it a smoke... My God, I haven't heard some of these commercials in so long. I usually just keep the game quiet. Meaty Bits will get it to you fast with a smile and completely without judgment. So, if it's good enough for Tony McGoney's Steakhouse, why not be good enough for Joe Public's home house? Get in touch with Meaty Bits. That's better. Tell them Tony sent you. Meaty Bits. If it ever was alive, they can get it to you dead. This radio ads sometimes remind me of GTA Radio, just a lot cleaner, yes. Yeah, it's funny actually, Artiman. I used to avoid grid cities like the plague. Then I just realized that I was doing an awful lot of work and it really wasn't benefiting me that much. Uh, what was I doing? I was zoning. So now I will sometimes just do kind of specific neighborhoods that are maybe not as grid-like, but especially early on when I'm trying to grow a bit faster and reach the milestones so that I've got the tools available, I'll just go ahead and I'll grid the hell out of it. Boomtown. Oh, no, we've got to be further than that. Well, maybe not. Oil industry, tourism. Oh, now we get the fancy schmancy road bits. Nice. Okay. Next stop, 5,500. Play tabletop. Yep. I uh, I play D and D. I've done a little bit of Starfinder as a player, not as a DM or GM. I'm a big, big fan of the variety of Star Wars tabletop games, and I really like the Star Trek game, though I've never actually had a chance to play that one, uh, Star Trek Adventures. I've never played Pathfinder, uh, although Starfinder is very similar. And I have played the computer version of Pathfinder, and that was really fun. The first one, anyway, Kingmaker. I played Kingmaker, which I liked quite a bit.
me while I upgrade a few of these roads. Stars without number. That rings a vague bell. I don't really have a lot of time to play right now, unfortunately. Okay. Man, they're really starting to want their commercial areas. You're running a campaign in it. That's really cool. You DM games and playing games? Yeah, I have a game that's on hiatus right now. Uh, a Discord D&D campaign that I ran for a number of years and would love to get back to, but I just don't have the time. I'm going to be hopefully changing that soon. Really, Mr. Soggy Ramen? Piper is my favorite character. In large part because of that intro and the stuff you learn about her later. And basically everything about her, all the little micro interactions she has with people as you travel around. She was so well done as a character. I adore her. Oh. Right. New services. What did we get? Um, Algae-based water? Man, book fair? Increased happiness and entertainment with the public libraries? I'm so behind on updates. There's so much stuff in this game I haven't done before. Uh, what did we want? We want death care, I believe. We could use a new park anyway. You know, I might actually upgrade this road down here to an avenue. So let's do that before I do anything too big. Which road was that? That was this one. Okay. Sorry about your houses and your shops. I suspect we will on Star. Like I said earlier, I am feeling a lot better today. And I haven't even been able to take advantage of the new schedule yet, so I, I, I suspect it might still take a few months or something, but I think before too long we might be able to pick that back up again. Or maybe relaunch it, since I don't know if some of the players who haven't been around in ages would really want to come back to it at this point. But those who do, absolutely. We can see about doing that. Stars Without Numbers, a brutal sci-fi system? <laughs> Ooh, that, uh, I, I don't know about the brutal. I like more casual stuff. Where guns do upwards of a D12 and your hit die is a D6 that you have to roll. No taking average in each level up. You roll all hit die to calculate hit points. If you don't roll higher than your current hit points, then it only goes up by one. Yeah. I, I, I prefer... Role play as in R O L E, then role play as in R O L L. But that's just me. I'm not really like I can appreciate crunch in a game, but I think it can be carried too far. That kind of sounds like it's a little role mastery for me. 
What is this? Oh, D zone. Right. Okay. I'm trying to remember what prompted me to turn that into an avenue besides the fact that I wanted another one. Where are... Okay, so we've really got nothing in this zone here. Maybe I can turn that into a little commercial district. Oh boy. If you have to retool all hit dice every time, might as well just do average, yeah. It's a mainly social system where you have to pick and choose your battles. Space combat, fleet combat, mech combat. Oh man, well, okay, that doesn't sound so bad. AIPC rules, nice. Oh, hey, Pi, what's going on? We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, folks, so be warned. There's a reason they're called that and not good or great terrible puns and dad jokes. Okay. What did the diver say to the fish? We have cities in your skylines. Wow, Pilicious. Okay. Why was the ghost surprised when his reanimated wife got home at 11 p.m.? He didn't expect her until midnight. Hey, I guess how's it going? It's good to see you. I think I won the joke there. I will let chat be the arbiters of that. I'm not keeping up with my road work. Let's see what we have here. up here. Damn it. Um, oh god, I'm so behind on all this. Okay, so we're doing this.
doing well. A touch bit inebriated, but overall pretty good. She is his late wife after all. I don't know why he'd be surprised he knew she'd be late. <laughs> but he didn't expect her. sections. Dinosaurus, the only restaurant with the servers are dinosaurs. Our animatronics are so real, you'll think a T-Rex is serving you T-Bone. A pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki. That a brontosaurus is there serving we go. you chili dogs. Every dish, this is an archaeological find. Like our stegogeti, our raptor burger. You only re-roll on level up. How often do you level up, though? Because that still seems like a lot. It, it kind of seems like the type of system I would really need to see an operation, I think. I would probably need to actually play it. Grazing off the lush vegetation of the time. Their mere existence Okay, that's looking all right. Next, we have to look at our laning. Good. At the old grain mill, most old places anyway. Family restaurant. At the old grain mill always has the best service and the best home style meals in town. We'll make sure you always leave at the old grain mill with a smile and a full belly. Now, be sure that you come down to at the old grain mill old fashioned family restaurant and not the abandoned grain facility. Kraken, how's it going? Love D&D 3.5 and Shadowrun 5e. See, I uh, I actually stopped playing D&D right around the time that 3rd edition was coming out. So I have no knowledge of 3.5. I only started up playing again by the time... I started getting interested again and got some of the 4th edition books, but I didn't actually get an opportunity to play again until 5th edition was well established. So Starfield has a stat progression system like Skyrim. Yes! To where the more you do a thing, the more you level up in said thing. That is the best. I love it. That pretty much nails the guarantee that Starfield is the next game I'm going to spend a decade playing. Shadowrun is great fun, but it can get really complicated with some of the decking and magic rules. There's a humble thing with Shadowrun 5th Edition, if I'm not mistaken on right now. I updated my Discord sections with all the humble links, and I'm pretty certain one of the book links that's available is for Shadowrun. You've played Pathfinder Kingmaker? I like Pathfinder Kingmaker. If 3.5 is very similar, then uh, yeah. And I do have Wrath of the Righteous now. I don't have any of the DLC for it, but I've got the base game. Because that was also a humble thing. So I have no idea when I'm ever going to have time to actually start playing it. The Forest Service has stated that there is a risk of an imminent forest fire in the area. Residents are advised to avoid forested areas. A forest fire is raging in the area. 
Leave campsites and tree houses immediately. <laughs> I love the writing on their alerts. And that doesn't even look like it was a, uh, a crowd control thing. That looks like that naturally happened in the game. Thank you, Aburnt. How are you doing? There are slight differences between Pathfinder and 3.5, obviously, but they're very similar. Yeah, that's fair. Shadowrun 6E got simplified. Just working and lurking. I appreciate all the lurks. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for being here. Okay, so it looks like our commercial area is a big success, but now we're starting to need more residential. Again. I still kind of want to... Uh, you know what? Oh. What? Oh, crap. Damn it! <laughs> Third time's the charm, Ansara. Somehow my main 3.5 group managed to blend high RP and power gaming, so we had the normal tabletop experience of RP, but then in actual combat challenges, our DM wound up actively trying as hard as he could to wipe the party and couldn't ever succeed. You know you're in a great group of power gamers when the DM can actively try to TPK every single encounter and fail every time. See, I don't... Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, that that's that's pretty wild. Uh, so I guess I can't do the disaster response unit yet, huh? Oh crap! Oh god! Not another tornado, Pylicious, What have you done? Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Oh Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. So about that 81 that areas mod. Strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. Thank you guys. Thank you. My favorite was when he trapped the party in a tall room where the bottom three quarters... Oh my god. was all my free coins and things. Oh, you should have seen earlier, Jarek. The city was almost bankrupted before it began. In fact, it would have been. It literally would have been if Chad had not intervened more positively. <laughs> Your monk got yeeted next to the portal by the tank, froze time, just punched the portal with his anti-magic attacks feet until he got a crit to dispel the portal. It was like 30 attacks over 5 turns.
water still seems to be intact. Thought I had you this time. <sighs> oh, I can do a disaster response unit. Might not be the worst idea. You have... Oh god. Wait. Oh jeez. I forgot about this. Oh, ads. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Sock puppet hounds. Wow, that was not a good shot. Ooh! I stand corrected. Looks like we've maybe got three left. Did I say three? I meant two. I'm not sure this is the recommended hunting approach. We're gonna get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Back. Hey, oh, you are in my backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Maybe. Oh my. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, you okay, sir? I have loved this game for a very long time. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Pilicious. Are we done? Are we good? We've restored power, or will shortly at least. Uh, I thought I had placed in a graveyard. Oh, maybe I never did. Crap, okay. Could have sworn that I did, but oh well. Thank you, Kraken. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Thank you, Pie and Three Winters and Jim. So, anybody got any uh, big plans for the remainder of the weekend? I guess this is this is Saturday, isn't it? Technically, it's. Sunday for me. Oh god, I just remembered too. Time change tonight, so that's going to be fun in about an hour. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, I like this corner. It's got a Tim Hortons and a bookstore. And, well, Taco Bell, I guess, but there's a KFC there, so that's okay. The thing I'm curious about is whether or not you can have multiple ships in Starfield. That's a good question. I don't know. Spring ahead, Mr. Soggy Ramen. So we're going to go from 2 o'clock something to 3 o'clock something. Oh, that does not sound fun, Kraken. A 12-hour ship with a 1.5-hour commute. I hope... Please be careful on the 1.5 hour commute thing. That's not going to be enjoyable. transit options we've got available to us now. We can do trams, we can do... I guess I could add a taxi. I think the town is still too small to really warrant much more than that. Just doing meal prep for the week today? Very nice. You all have a chill night and a pleasant tomorrow, and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Very nice. Have a great night, Mr. Soggy Roman. Thank you for being here. Your week just started? Yep. Yeah. Mine just started the other night. 
This is kind of the middle of the week for me. So as far as the new schedule goes, I mentioned this to people last night, but I guess there's probably a lot of people who still don't know. So let's talk about that again for a little bit. I am going to be having to change my stream schedule very significantly. It's the biggest change I've ever had to make, actually. So what's going on is I'm going to finish out this week. Next week is going to be a bit longer than normal because it's my birthday. So I'm going to be streaming on Wednesday, which I don't normally do. And I'm going to be doing that as the long stream of the month because I, I'm going to have family over for my birthday, which is on Thursday. And so I can't do my lo long stream on my birthday itself because, um, you know, family celebrations and whatnot. So we're doing the long stream on the Wednesday, which will cross over the midnight line, and uh, part of it will be on the actual birthday itself. And then I'm just going to keep going until my normal end time on Wednesday. But then once that's done, I'm taking a week off. And when I get back, my schedule changes completely. I'm going to be switching over to doing daytime streaming. I, I, I've gotten to a point now where there are too many reasons I cannot continue streaming at night. So I'm going to use my week off to adjust my sleep schedule and I'm going to be starting daytime streaming. Although I will still be doing the long stream of the month thing. And that will, if all goes according to plan, hopefully, uh, it will overlap with my current schedule. So people who can't see me during the daylight hours should hopefully still have a chance to pop in every once in a while. No real strong plans, depending on how much it snows tomorrow. May go door dashing, may not. Okay, bye. I sort of did meal prep. I made some naan to go with my meals during the week. I'll figure out what to do with them as I go. That sounds delicious. I love naan. I haven't had it in a long time. Okay, how's stuff looking here? Well, people seem to be getting around pretty good. I don't see any major areas of... Graphic. Although this area here... I'm not sure why this one is so busy. I keep a sourdough starter so I make use of it for random breads. Oh, that's really awesome. Wow, Jim Racer. A non starter. Okay, where did I put that? Oh, okay, so this is all the commercial area. what I was hoping for. Let's put in a parking structure. You know, actually, I kind of think it might be better here. Okay, and we've still got that massive demand for residential going.
go. Don't know what we're going to put here yet, but I'm going to leave it clear just for now. And if it turns out we need to expand on our commercial stuff, then we can do that. While that grows, let's put that back down to individual speed. so much. This is only a population of 4,000. It's profitable, though. I like that it's profitable. You know what we could do? I think what we need to do is I've been neglecting our parks. Let's put some small playgrounds in. Where's the school? School's up here. Let's do a school or a park right next to it. We're gonna come down here to the part that I've left unzoned. We're gonna put that in there. Right across the street from the school, we can do a large playground. We haven't had nearly enough of the land value dinging that I like to hear. So let's do a plaza or two in here as well. This looks like a good corner for one. We'll put the Paradox Plaza there. small park, which I still say isn't particularly small. I'll put that right off there. And let's see how this plays out. Robot invasion imminent. If only that was a thing that could happen. Well, sure, if they don't want to use the closer park, but this is not exactly a busy street. And they don't even technically have to cross it, they can just go around.
Where's our land value? Oh, oh, okay. We like that sound. That's a good sound. Land value over here is starting to get pretty nice. It's a little dismal out here, though. This end of the city could maybe use a little jazzing up with a public library, say. Uh, speaking of education... Oh, yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. We've been putting parks in. We could use another school, though. Chicago Mike, enjoy your lurk. It's good to see you. That's almost not enough. It's really, actually, I probably could do another one. In fact, I think I will. Now this one they do legit have to cross the road. There's just no space. I hear the distant pinging of upgrading homes. There we go. That's what we want to hear. Might have made a terrible error, actually. I spaced these sections out so that this road could become another avenue. And then I went and I dumped a school right next to it. So I'm going to have to apologize to these fine homeowners. Very sorry, but we need to upgrade that road before I do too much else.
Okay, I think we're doing all right there. Now, do we have high schools yet? Oh God, we do. Okay, high school availability. Maybe I'll just do one single high capacity elementary school. How many will that take? 2,400 versus 1,000. Yeah, let's do that. So I think we're gonna pop this one in right here. get a sports park. So hopefully that'll cover us for a while. A building is on fire? I... You are correct. That's okay. The fire department's on it. Next to the high school, too? I don't see anything that looks burned. Maybe it was just a building with reddish light. <clears throat> getting to the point in the city's history where I need to actually start setting up some timed traffic lights. Wing, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope all is well. like it's emptying out a lot better now. That's really good. So how are things, X-Wing? I hope all is well. Oh, getting better. Getting better. It's been a good day today. It's hard to go wrong with some cities, though. Especially with the news that they're doing City Skylines 2. I'm so excited for that, I can't even tell you. Oh, look at this pie. I think you were right. It's hard to tell. That might just be the color of Disturbed Earth. But there may have been some fire here in the not-so-recent past. No, actually, I kind of think maybe that might be just the color of the earth. 
It's really interesting to see what Cities 2 will bring. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty good. All right. Let's take a look at that land value thing again. Oh my god, look at that. So much better. Nice. That's what we want to see. That's really that's really good. That's very cool. Okay. This could maybe use a little improvement. I mean, our industrial area, that's always going to suffer a little bit, but uh, very happy with the progress on land value in the city core. Now, uh, there was a question of whether a fire had been in the area where I built the school recently, Jim Racer. I think it was the dual restaurant, but it was put out before any actual damage was done. Oh, that could be it, too. That could be it. Okay, that, that's fair. That, that, that could have happened, Pilatius. And still so interesting how this has become the city simulation after SimCity destroyed itself. Yeah. That still makes me so sad. You know, for all that SimCity 2013 was kind of a disaster, there were still and are still some features in that game that I like more than City Skylines. Like the modular stuff that you could add to like you know have your police department but you could fiddle around with it and make it look distinct and just add additional capabilities and things I love that I hope that Cities 2 reintroduces that concept to the genre because that was great Delicious, thank you, I think. Oh, look at this. Right as you enter the city, the first thing you run into is like Timmy's. Gotta love it. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Oh, Residents God. should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. <sighs> Stay away, tornado. It's not staying away. I don't think that they actually lied, Super Bowser. I think they were saying it was impossible while... Oh, God. There goes our sewage. Oh, why does everything target the highway? At least I figured out that I can actually repair the highway. That's super valuable. I used to always think it was impossible. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Oh, boy. You know, basically what I'm saying is I think that to EA... Is my piping still good? Yes. Okay. It was impossible, and they weren't lying about it, but they were 
basically saying it was impossible to achieve their goals for the game without the multiplayer component. And the fact that we hated the goals that they had in mind for it doesn't actually change that fact. Okay, what is this? Rebuild. Rebuild. Thank you. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, did we lose? No, we're okay. didn't do nearly enough. I disagree. That was a massive attack on our most basic infrastructures. It took out the highway, which is the most important part of the city, and it took out our sanitation, and it took out our power. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> that was devastating. Okay, we need to work some more on these districts. I'm going to put in a new one here. Let's divide that one off. This will be another district. And then we're going to have one here. And I'll just I'll include the cemetery in that one. And I guess that can take over that. And that will eventually get probably split off into another one. But for now, I think that'll do. Briarwood, oh god. That should raise alarm bells to any Critical Role fans. Surprisingly, people still play and stream it. Really, Super Bowser? You know, I actually still have the game. It might be fun to actually load it up and check it out again. Even on SimCity 4 Steam page, there were people wanting SimCity 2013 on stream. Wow. SimCity 4 was pretty great. Weeks worth of meal prep done. Oh, congratulations, Kraken. That's awesome. Pilicious, thank you. The walking tours are so healthy. I love them. Healthy walking. Warning. Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. An earthquake is occurring. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. This was a nice city once. <laughs> you would move. I couldn't blame you. Some actual city destruction. That's what you wanted. Wow. I see how it is.
Wow, on Stara. Uh, okay. Looks like I'm going to have to add dirt. We lost too much. Always nice finding you have surprise bits. Kinda looking like this is pretty close to as good as I'm gonna get it. Okay, that's the roads taken care of, except for this one, I guess, which I should probably also do. And then... I saved the city from a baby kaiju, just needed to cause an earthquake and tornado to do it. Oh god. <laughs> nice, Pilicious. actually do take out the water infrastructure. Almost forgot. It's fine. What's the worst that can happen? Headshot. 
<laughs> hey, Kellen Ray, how's it going? Man, and that's the area of the city that was getting the good land values, too. Mega lurk mode, no worries. I hope you're feeling better today. Now, actually, I need to also check and make sure... Okay, we managed to keep all three schools. Looks like I managed to lose... No? No, okay. Looks like the parks are still intact. Mildly? Well, um... It's better than feeling worse, so I'll take it. I hope you feel even better, even faster. Okay, let's see here. A lot of these intersections are now brand new again, so... Oh, crap. I didn't actually repair all of the roads. Presence, it has been a bit. How are you doing? Good to see you back again. Is that everything? I think so. Hopefully they can get here. Ah, there they go. Yes. Garbage collection. I haven't looked at that in a while. Oh god, what's wrong? Landfill's only 35%. Maybe I need another... Yeah, I think I could use another recycling system. Alright.
gave you my prime sub. Don't know why it didn't show a notification. Oh, did you? Wait, hang on. I'm not sure. Oh. Presents. Thank you so much for using your Prime sub here. You only get one of those a month, and it means a lot that you decided to use it here. Thank you, thank you. I've been good. I'm glad to hear that things have been good. So what have you been up to lately? As you can see, we are working on some city skylines here with crowd control. Which is vaguely terrifying because chat seems to want to ensure that residents of this city live very interesting lives. Let's put it that way. So why is this taking so long to rebuild? There's another one here too. Oh, that one's gone. I guess they'll get to it. Oh, there's a few out this way as well. Mad, what's going on? It's good to see you. Oh, some of this I have to manually rebuild. Ready for rebuilding. Those should pop automatically. Uh, it's good to see you too, Mad. Things are going pretty good here. It's been a good day. Yeah, this looks like it's backed up, but it actually clears out pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, in all of our upgrades, have I managed to... Yes, okay. So we can upgrade this. That was the, that was, uh, that was our Tim Hortons. That's a shame. Okay, uh, looks like upgrading this has caused a little wonkiness. We want to edit this. We don't want that, we want that. Actually, that might be okay. Appreciate it. You are too kind. Work, work, work. Yeah, I kind of know the feeling. A little too well. I'm actually going to be keeping different hours on the stream soon because. The way things are right now, I've been doing too much to the point where uh, where it's become unhealthy. So I got to make some changes. And this still really does not want to rebuild, does it? I'm going to resist the temptation to bulldoze it. I'm hoping it'll rebuild the Timmies.
Yeah, I'm noticing very... Oh. Oh, God. Infinity snap. Oh, man. Oh, it's rebuilding something. What are we doing? That doesn't look like a Timmy's. Ah. It's a coin laundry, really. Wow. Okay, crime rate is pretty low. Jail availability is also low. Wow, okay. Well, it's going to take a while for our population to recover, but thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, we still really want a lot of population, huh? You had to, you're not sorry. Fair. Reasonable. We'll recover it eventually. Where's 48? Golf course. I don't know why you'd want population in this city. <laughs> Reasonable. That's a fair question. doing on schools elementary school availability is looking good I'm gonna pop in some parks before I start zoning do one of those guys and oh a dog park we definitely need a dog park how we didn't have a city with um, how we had a city with no dog park until now is beyond me. Ads. I'll be right back. We're going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> mm. 
wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> Cecil has become a paladin. Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. <laughs> I'm not finding that body. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting up the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting in a very unbandit like fashion. Oi, oi. Might I address whomever is in charge? A master builder is here, and you better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. So how's about we trade, eh? He is offering fish, and I have a lot of metal. I could use the fish. Ask him if he has something more exciting to trade. No, I want the fish. Much obliged, the self-titled master builder shouts. The bandit completes the trade whilst closely guarding... By the colonists and takes off with the materials, whistling happily as he goes. I haven't had Prime Rim in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. Am I being attacked by chickens? Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that, that was What? That? What? What? But? But? Uh, but? <laughs> what was that? That's awesome! I've never seen meteor strikes in this game. The only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword. Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my <laughs> Uh Thanks guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that folks. Okay. Let's connect these up. Thank you, Vikings. Thank you, Pilatius. You've been through the time hop? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Thank you, Presence.
Yes, I guess you're right. I thought that felt awfully fast. I forgot for a moment. Okay, so uh, we've got our water and our roading taken care of. We've got a few parks in. Let's pop some of that in, except I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna zone a little more commercial just in here. And actually, It's nice to know that my little script works. Although, I guess I should have known, because I've been using that for quite a while now. I think I started using it in late 2021. So I had all of 2022 to verify that it works. I just never really thought to take note of it before. So I guess I'll plan on running a little bit late tonight, then. Instead of ending at 4 o'clock, maybe I'll go for 4.30. I don't want to screw up my uh, my sleep schedule too much before I have to screw it up the other direction and start getting up early. But I also don't want to cut off stream too much tonight. And if it happens to run to 5, it's not the end of the world. this up a little bit for a while. So we only have residential demand right now, and that's filling pretty nicely. Everybody is just taking jobs all up in here. That's really interesting. We do have... Oh, wow, that's a lot of upgrading of quality. What the heck? I love that sound. That's really what we want to see. Let's pause for a moment and check out our land values then. Yeah, okay, so we're recovering pretty okay. This is still not the best, but that's industrial, dirty industrial, so that's kind of to be expected. This is looking pretty good in here. Another little bit just in here that's looking pretty good. What are you complaining about? Not enough customers. Working on it, working on it. Let's boost this a little bit. I don't think we have much in the way of... Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap in our park coverage. So let's go... We'll do another dog park.
this game is a lot more in-depth than SimCity on the SNES. Well, I mean... The SNES wasn't that powerful a machine. For its time, it was pretty good, let's be honest. But, this is not its time. You know another good city builder that I've always had a soft spot for? SimCity Societies. I don't know how many of you even know what that game was. It was pretty fun though. It was kind of the opposite of a traditional SimCity in the instead of having mostly buildings that grow naturally, it was focused primarily on cities that you would plop down, and the vibe and the theme of the city would change depending on what kind of buildings you put in. It was pretty fun. I should see if I can get that one to work. I think I have it on Origin. Why isn't local government doing anything to stop the fires? Because we don't have that fine-tuned to control of physics. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I might have screwed up my laning here. I might have to allow that. <clears throat> oh my god, you know what? I think the angle of this confused the hell out of me. I don't think that these arrows mean what I was assuming they meant. Like, the arrow pointing this way goes here, sure. This has changed behavior so much. I think when they're allowed to go straight through, they're actually allowed to turn in here because of the angle of the entry into the intersection. So, you know what I think I should be doing then? Yeah, oh my god, yes. Oh, I misunderstood that intersection so much. Holy crap. Okay, that's much better. That's going to take a little bit for that to clear out, but that's flowing so much nicer now. I did enjoy playing SimCity on the SNES. Also spent time with Sim Ant, which was strangely fun. I remember Sim Ant. Sim Ant was great. I also played Sim Earth and Sim Life and basically almost all of them. What the heck? That was weird. Okay, that means I can fine-tune even more. Now that I have a better understanding of what's happening. Let's see if that actually works. I, yeah, I think that's gonna work. But I think we're going to get rid of that. Oh. Don't mind me, I'm just confusing the simulation. Let me see what I can get up to as far as Havoc goes. 
Let's make that a four lane. Just for the heck of it. gonna do it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this needs to be upgraded, but it seems too early for that, and I can't imagine my residential people are going to appreciate it. Monopoly Streets? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Let's experiment a little bit. Just do one little bit of avenue here. Okay, that's actually helping more than I expected it would. That's not bad at all. You have the general monopoly properties, right? You build businesses and stuff on them. Don't have to worry about streets, but you compete to try to fulfill the city's desires before your opponents. That sounds kind of cool, actually. That sounds pretty neat. How old is that game? Hey, Greenie, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hang on just one moment here. There we go. Guys, if there's anybody not following Greenie Trini, please make sure you go give him a follow. He's an awesome, awesome friend of the channel. You will not regret it. A fairly old game. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's so clear now. And it empties so quickly. That's really, really good. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, yes. I overlooked something. Oh, no, I didn't. Shoot. Okay. No, I did not. I th thought I had. But it looks like we simply need more water. Flat out. Also more sewage treatment. And by sewage treatment, of course, I mean things to just spew crap into the into the water. <clears throat> Not looking forward to tomorrow, loss of hour and all. Yep, you can see from my little timestamp I've already been through that.
So I'm probably gonna... Oop. Yay. We did it. We got to Busy Town. Now we're going after Big Town. So what did that give us? Oil industry, tourism... Oh, okay. Okay. Next, we're going after the big upgrade. Okay. Oh, yes, we do the thing. It should be 236 right now, not 336. Or it would be if it had been yesterday. But we did the time change thing. I guess it's gonna be time very shortly here to try and figure out where I'm going to expand the city to next. What kind of transit options do we have now? Oh, we can do... we can do buses. I don't know that we necessarily need to that badly, but we can. Compact bus station to serve as a hub for bus lines. Place bus stops at the bus station to let passengers easily transfer on their journey through the city. Hi, I'm Greg, owner and founder of Steel I don't know a single person that thinks we should keep DST going. We need to just scrap it. It's so... like... Once upon a time, it arguably had a decent purpose. But it's been such a long time since that was true. I can optimize this a little more. That, that's who. Uh, uh, check out our ad in the weekly nipple. <laughs> Don't you want money for nothing? Yeah, you do. What's the catch? There is one. Anyone who wants it can have it. You just have to ask for it. Our three-day sleepaway camp is the perfect place to strike it rich. Who are we? Well, we're the number one dream makers in the region. And you are a motivated, driven, confident individual. Not enough educated workers. How's our education looking? Okay, we're not going to run out of high school education for a long time. University, I don't think we can do that yet. No, we need 8,000 population. DST has a very clear purpose as it increases the number of fatalities in the two weeks after moving the clocks ahead. That's true, Haggis, but uh, I think it's safe to say you could argue that that's a less useful purpose than the original one, which was to help the railways run on time across time zones. Or, you know, across what would become the time zones anyway. But that's not really a necessary thing anymore. We don't really need that. Alright, looks like we've got a little bit of traffic snarling. What is going on here? the light dealing with things.
Really, Haggis? I've been misinformed then. Why did the farmers need it, though? Time zones were... Oh, okay, so I'm probably just conflating the two then, Haggis. I think everyone should just use UTC. No, I don't think we need to do that. I think we can... We can... We can not do that. UTC is not useful to most people. What do you mean, Greeny? Yep, the thing is, Pilatius, there's no value in farmers getting up at nearly the same time if they're not in the same geographical region. The train thing, whether it's true or not, at least it makes sense. Thank you, Patriotic. I appreciate the hydrate and the next stretch. DST only became standard in the US in the 1960s? Yikes. Okay, so right now it looks like we've got ridiculous demand for residential, and we've got a fair amount of demand for commercial, which means this must have mostly filled in. So let's zone a bit more for them. looking. Oh crap, we're starting to reach the limits, but I can build oil power plants now, which is really convenient. I, I, where are you getting degrees and feats and meters and all that stuff from? I don't remember that coming into it. sound barriers.
something I don't understand. We need metric time, 100 minutes per hour, 100 days per year? No. I will side with you on a lot of this haggis, but not that. I am all for metric in most things, but metric time? Uh-uh. Step too far. Okay, this is backing up pretty severely too. Kind of starting to think maybe that needs an upgrade too as well. need to find a new planet with a better orbit or or hear me out we build really gigantic jet engines anchored to the earth and only fire them when they're in the precise perfect spot to adjust earth's orbit of course we'll need to do the same for the moon and probably venus and mars so that we don't destabilize the solar system but you know this is Theoretically, it's something that we could do. There's one thing humans are good at, it's destabilizing their environment. That doesn't mean we need to encourage it. <clears throat> oh, we need so many new people. And throwing things, humans are great at throwing accurately, that's true. Two questions on doing that with the moon. Would we maintain the synchronous rotation and would we try to stop its slow movement away from Earth? Um, probably adjust the absolute minimum necessary to keep it with us as we go. 
We can always adjust the uh, the drift away from us if we want to at a later point. But I don't think you really want to adjust the synchronous rotation. I don't know that there is any point to doing that. You might risk something. There's a Chinese Netflix film where they move the Earth. What's silly about it? Warning. Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. An earthquake is occurring. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. Thanks, Pilatius. At least this one doesn't look quite as bad. <laughs> Why did I think that crowd control was a good idea again? I'm struggling to remember. is always facing the earth and it's moving away from us very slowly. It's doing the equivalent of backing out of a room very carefully. Understandably so. The only advantage I could see with changing the tidal locking is making it easier to study our other parts of the moon from Earth. Yeah. And uh, I do believe Haggis is correct. It would be really hard to try to make it non-tidally locked. It would be a, an awful lot of effort for pretty much no gain whatsoever. You haven't had one in a while. Wow, Pilatius. Hammerbank, we want you to trust us with your money. Because it's with your money that we can make you more money. How? It's not funny business. It's money business. You give your money to us and it will grow with interest. That's the plan, at least. Maybe that's too complicated for you. Imagine planting a money tree in the ground and watering it. Hold on. Imagine if you had a money pet and you fed it more money and after digesting it would... Uh, okay. You want to go money fishing, so you use a little money to catch a big money. You know, just come in and talk to us. We have even more metaphors that allow us to avoid saying what we really do with your money. Dan <laughs> Hammer Bank, feed the money monster. You're on a train. I think that's a matter of subjective opinion, Pilatius. It kind of feels like I've had a lot of them so far. I've had more than one in the past four or five hours. I know, Haggis. That bank one is amazing. I love the I, I I love the ads in this game, and on this radio station in particular.
Whoops. I guess the fire department didn't get here in time. There you go. All clear. Now it can be rebuilt. I love that element of the disaster response unit that they go in and they actually, you know, they assess the damage and ready it for rebuilding, but they're also actually in there searching for survivors and potentially rescuing people too, which is kind of cool. So we'll just let that pop back up on its own. Uh, I could build over here so easily, but on the other hand, I really do kind of want to keep that for agricultural use. I guess I could do, I could do this, I could just, Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Just put a little commercial corner in there. And now we've got one down there. What's about the midpoint? Maybe here. Local hero, Pilicious, save city from neighboring city. <laughs> nice. Well done, Pilicious. I'm sure the people feel safer already. Before I actually let that spawn stuff, let's uh, see about some parks. We're in the tropics. I think we could maybe use a tropical garden. Uh, put that up here. Yeah. Let's 
So that'll impact the growth of some of the commercial right in here, but that's okay. The earthquake really discouraged that invasion, it did. They were kind of on the fence before that, what with all the tornadoes and the thunderstorms and the meteor strikes and whatnot, but uh, that most recent earthquake just pushed them over the edge and made them call it off. Okay, how's our districting looking? I think this can be absorbed into Chestnut Hill. I think this is going to be its own. here Industrial Valley. I would like to get the agricultural area started. The only problem is we have no industrial demand whatsoever, which is honestly a little bit weird. We've had so much population growth. How can I not have any industrial demand whatsoever? I mean, I do keep putting parks in, and commercial does also soak up demand for employment. But I would have thought I'd have some demand somewhere. Oh, okay. I was starting to wonder if maybe it was bugging out, but it now looks like we do have a tiny little sliver of demand. Very much so, Dova. I cannot wait for Skylines 2. It's going to be awesome. here. There we go. Trees all down here for their noise blocking effect. And here for their decorative effect. What the heck? Why did. Damn it. I didn't know that was waiting to be rebuild.
Hey, Vera Johnson. Have the meteors hit yet? Oh my god, Vera Johnson. There have been so many meteor strikes, so many earthquakes, so many thunderstorms, so many fires. <sighs> there, it, It's been a lot. Tornadoes, can't forget the tornadoes. I know it doesn't look like it, but this city's seen some stuff. Ooh, okay. It looks like we actually do have a little bit of traffic snarling going on here. That's interesting. When are they implementing Godzilla? They seem to be shying strictly away from that kind of stuff in this. Which makes me sad, because I want that stuff too. is saying is that he requires more adversity to overcome if you have CC coins to spend. I don't recall saying anything that implies anything of the sort on Stara. You know, that was actually a thing in the very first original Sim City. Godzilla could appear and rampage through your town. And then in Sim City 2000, I believe they switched it up so it wasn't Godzilla anymore, but there was a giant robot that could rampage, as well as aliens that could come down and invade. As in parking, right? I need space for my car. Isn't this enough? We've got a whole parking structure. Or I guess they could mean somewhere up here. Let's see if I... So, oops, let's not upgrade. that's not too bad. I wonder if maybe we're starting to get just a little bit big enough that we could look at adding transit. It seems unnecessary at this size though. Oh look at this, our population is going pretty good. 
what do we need? 8,000? We just need um, roughly 800 more people. We still have massive demand for population. I think what we're going to do then is What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it very much. Okay, folks, I think it's getting pretty close to, yeah, it's definitely getting pretty close to break time. We've got ads starting very shortly. Uh, don't worry too much, though. The ads do help the channel quite a lot, and I do run clips while they are on so you don't miss anything. So I'm going to take a quick break. This will be my last break of the evening, and I'll be back in about five. So uh, if you guys need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack or whatever, this is a really good time to do that, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Cat! Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. What? Who designed this vessel? Let me guess what that's going to be. Oh. Hey. I was wrong. Okay, he was definitely no behemoth. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Yes, I am Lokaius, your wolf god. And now, you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my boy, and be blessed as wolf kind. It feels like coming home. Transformation? Or oaths? Don't be a flapping fool, Timon. Timon kneels and beneath him a green light pools. Dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock he kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A geode of understanding splits and catches light. 
beneath the earth and behind his eyes. Timon. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Ow. How did you not see me? You leave her alone. This is actually quite wow. thing. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Oh. You dumb. Fuck. Jesus. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh my god! <laughs> uh... You seem to have been mugged by some type of large rat. As you pick loose fur from your teeth, you notice a less bulky feeling. That rat bastard stole not only my generator, but also my wire. The dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it. That certainly seems to be her goal. Sorry about that, guys. I stopped to grab a bite to eat. I'm back now. Thank you, Haggis. Now, we were setting up to build some more stuff here. Uh, what are we doing? Right. I was going to extend out and build some more residential.
48 and 24. Fun fact, both meteorologists and astrologers are bad at predicting nuclear or meteor strikes. I bet they're probably even worse at predicting nuclear strikes. Just a guess. I have no scientific basis to back that up. Welcome back, Artiman. Well, meteor strengths are hard to predict considering meteors are rotating around the Earth daily. True. Okay, let's see here. God, not another one. <laughs> oh, I can just barely squeak that one in. Nice. Okay. have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. No, it kind of looks like you've nailed it here. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. It Residents still needs to be astronomers. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Here we go again, yes. Yeah, that was not a bad... The thing is, though, Pilatius, the longer I play, the bigger a target they have to hit. When I first started, it's kind of a minor miracle the tornado actually worked.
Infinity snap, oh no. My population. You're only just starting. Interesting, Alias. I've felt that way about chat for a long time. I was hoping to give them the benefit of the doubt. In fairness, chat is usually pretty good about realizing that if you kill me too quickly in these games, the fun ends prematurely. Oh, that's cute. I like that. The chirper traffic gun. Thank you, Patriotic. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what the heck happened there? That was not what I meant. That's funny, though. Um. Oh my god, look at this. My parking structure survived for once. I've had to rebuild that so many times now. Did I get all the roads? I think the roads were all fixed. No, they're not. Never mind. There we are. <laughs> wow, patriotic. Rude. I'm not a supervillain. That just because you're not evil doesn't mean you're not a villain. What the heck? Vinesley, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, folks. Uh, so what were you up to, Vinesley? Welcome on in, Ali Zara. Good to have everybody here. What were you up to this evening? What kind of uh, what kind of stream were you up to? What did you get up to? You totally didn't read that. No worries, Patriotic. No worries. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. So tell me all about your stream. I would love to hear all about it. And thank you very much for entrusting us with your community this evening. Were you also playing some City Skylines? And if so, are you excited about Cities Skylines 2? If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single player, story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I throw in real-world actual Lego builds as well, so if any of that sounds good, please do feel free to hit the follow button, and I have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I didn't. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I'm also curious what the tour and tournaments for Crusader King 3 will be like. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they've announced for that one. And since he didn't tell you, Vinesley was playing Sons of the Forest. Oh, okay. Yes. Not my kind of game, but I know an awful lot of people who are really excited about that one and having a great time with it. I hope it treated you well. Rolling line is getting cars that move? What? Uh, what is that, Dova? I, I don't know that one. Oh, but you love cities. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I, I, I took a break from this game for a while. And so there's a lot of content in it that I haven't had much experience with so far. Let's uh, see if we can speed this process up a little bit here. We are playing with crowd control. I hesitate to tell you that because uh, chat has been raining down a storm of fire, meteors, lightning, earthquakes, you name it. They're basically hitting me with it, but it's been a lot of fun. Now, did I lose some zoning over here? Yes, I did. Rolling line is a model train set. Oh, interesting. Ooh, I might have to check into that, Dova. I've wanted a model train sim specifically for a long, long time, because I expect, uh, unless I'm very mistaken, of course, but I would expect that a model train sim would not have the economic factor that most railroad sims have. Am I correct in that? Because sometimes you just want the freedom to build. Very low poly, that's okay. I mean, it's kind of a bummer, honestly. I would love something that's a little more photo real, but uh, yeah, probably still worth checking into. I hope Base Game Cities 2 will be good to go and we won't miss all the DLCs. Oh, no, 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 no. Sadly, you can expect that we're gonna have some stuff from some of the DLCs, but it's not gonna, they're, they're not gonna take nearly 10 years of development on the first game and then make that the base for the next game. Uh, you know, there's, I mean, there's, that's just too much work to begin with. I mean, they'd still be developing the game in 2040 if they tried to do that. Or maybe not 2040, but, you know, we wouldn't see it till like 2033 or something. It would be a very long time in a massive undertaking. But, um, you know, they've hinted very broadly that a lot of stuff that we do expect in the trailer or in the uh, in the new game from this one will be in there, like the day-night cycle and the weather and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't think we can count on everything. I mean, they've got to also leave themselves room to make more DLC for the second game. Yeah, honestly, the traffic simulation, I would love to be able to just play the new one and not have to use... A, a mod to make the traffic work the way traffic is supposed to work. That would be pretty nice. I'd be happy even just with that. <laughs> Patriotic, I don't think that that one stacks, and I've been keeping it on three, so you're kind of just tossing money at me, which, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, but... <laughs> Just know what you're getting into. I, I don't think that you're extending it any, especially because I already had it set to speed three. I don't want you to waste money unnecessarily. You shall toss all the points. Okay, fair enough. There must be other things that you can toss it at, though. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, you know what the problem is here? This isn't clearing. I just finally realized this. This is my commercial area. And it extends up into my industrial era, area. 
and I don't have any demand whatsoever, so the rubble is just staying there and not getting rebuilt. This is why I'm creating this whole big section of new residential stuff, or at least I was. Uh, let's see if we can work on that some. We're going to get in and make a few different weird looking blocks. And, um, we'll do some corner store type stuff. Actually, you know what I think I'll do is I'll go back to having commercial on the main avenue. Hmm, I'm going to need a buffer right here, so I might do. I might do industrial out to here and another strip of commercial here, actually. And then all of this. They all go in the same lane, yeah. I mean, yeah, without mods, it's really, it, it's, it's kind of a mess. I, I really want them to have fixed that in the next one. I'm looking forward to getting more detail about it. The video they released, I wish it was in-game footage. I'm hoping it's at least footage that was made with the engine they're using for the game. Because it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. Good, if you want I think pass, mostly gotta go big. almost That's there. Why our cameras are the biggest on the market, our shutters the and cameras aren't pigments, they're tools, tools used to create. In fact, the most valuable camera is the one that you're afraid to take outside. Fault tech, only the best. There we go. The Brontosaurus for millennia. These gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth, grazing off oh. the lush vegetation Hang on. of the time. <laughs> Their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on the world. It's that legacy that dino oil. I always forget the water. Back and looking at chat in just a moment, folks. So there we go. Really hope they keep the Mac support because you're on a Mac. That would be helpful then. But that seems to be the trend these days is a lot of extensive multi-platform support. So hopefully. Let's you walk around the set as if you were there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've wanted a virtual train set for a long time that doesn't have all the economic stuff of a proper railroad sim. I mean, I enjoy those too. But sometimes I just want the freedom to build, you know? And it's not quite the same doing a railroad sim just with, you know, the uh, economics turned off. There's something about a model train set.
And in large part, thanks to Steam, a lot more games are supporting Linux now. Yeah, that is true. I've never tried to actually use Linux as my primary operating system. Although I have used it as an operating system in the very distant past at this point. <clears throat> For a number of years, I was on basically a primary BOS system. I went that route for a while. In real life, model train sets are pretty dang expensive. Yeah, they really are. Two K for a locomotive? Holy crap, Dova! They were a lot cheaper when I was young. My dad and I used to work on uh, model train sets. We had HO scale stuff. That's long gone now, but it was pretty cool. As a long-time Linux user, I hate the loop of I wish there were more Linux games so I could, yeah. I don't blame you, I guess. Okay, so this is starting to fill out a little bit. Then company show no one plays on Linux. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's kind of um, it's kind of inevitable in a way, though. Yeah, people play, don't play games on Mac Linux because you didn't make games for it. Yep. My one Windows PC is for games due to lack of support for anything else. Yeah. I had that same problem on BOS. Okay, I think that's actually looking pretty good. Most, yep, 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 all right. So we'll let this run for a little while, see how it develops, and hopefully some of this rubble will start to clear as we get little bits of demand. Oh, I guess we're also gonna need to throw some parks in here occasionally. We will go with the ever-popular dog park to start, I think. Park with tree. Is that one's fairly big. Maybe we'll toss this one right there.
Oh, how are we doing on schools? Ooh, we're starting to get low on elementary again. Maybe I'll throw... Where's the high capacity? Elementary can go there. No dogs are allowed in the dog park. No humans are allowed on the dog park. No one is allowed in the dog park. We can solve that problem easily though, Haggis. If we just allow dogs to drive, they would be able to park in the dog park. It is a Night Vale reference and I applaud it. I haven't listened to Night Vale in a very long time, but it is wonderful. Okay, now we're probably running a little bit short on other services. Death care looks good. Health care, actually, not half bad, although... What do we got here? Child health centers, elder care. We can do the bigger hospital. Oh, we can do the medical helicopter thingy. Oh, sports hall and gymnasium? Oh God, okay. Where is the giant high school? I want one of these. Institute of Creative Arts, Community School. Community Pool would be good too. Maybe we'll put that over this way. Actually, we'll put it right across the street. But cats are allowed in the dog park. Yes, they are. Cecil is just amazing, I agree. Oh. I was mistaken earlier when I thought the time change had already fired off. I'm just looking at the clock and realizing it's now somehow almost five o'clock in the morning. Ugh. Okay, well, crime rate, we could work on improving that a little bit. Maybe we'll put in another smaller station here. And no, not another disaster response unit. There. Yep, I'm in a time zone that does the DST thing and we have the changeover tonight. No, it didn't this time, Pilatius. I actually saw the jump. He's very confused about where the hour went. Yeah, that's the weird thing is I've been expecting it all night and I thought it happened earlier, but mm -mm. Can I not do the sauna? Ah, we need 8,000, okay. I will just do another medical clinic then. 
gonna pop that in right there. Oh, the pool looks amazing. Look at that. I love that. Because now you're only an hour ahead of me instead of two. That means that you jumped as well, Pilatius. Yeah, but I thought it happened like three hours ago. <laughs> and it clearly didn't. Processing again. Lovely. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't think through my placement of this uh, disaster response unit very well. My primary avenue here needs to go right through that thing. I'm going to have to do something about this. work, but I don't like it. Ooh, you know what I could do, though? Crap. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. I can relocate that, though. I'm going to have to re-relocate it. Oh, I need to move that too. That can go there. Okay, that'll work. But if I just jumped, wouldn't that mean like at least two hours ago you should have only been an hour ahead if you just jumped? You're making my head hurt. Let's just admit that we've all jumped at this point, at least in the eastern time zone, and not worry about it too much more, and whatever time zone you're in as well. The hows, whens, wherefores, we can look up on Google later. <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to work. Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant. 60,000 a week. Uh, it also does 60000 a week. And it's a lot cheaper.
Mountain and Pacific still to go? Yep. You have not yet done the time travel thing. Okay. Oh, do we have backed up traffic again? Oh, it's not too bad, though. It's everyone trying to get in this one lane, like we were talking about. It's all at once per time zone, but it's it's not like you can't really just do it all at once globally. Or at least, I don't know if anybody's ever actually tried. What does it feel like to drive a cloud? What does Big it town, feel like and to it's 4.59 like in the morning. Like wow, that's perfect. At Jubilee, we're committed to letting you do the impossible. And now we've succeeded. So now we can start getting into high density and offices. Okay, and that means this is probably the perfect time to. Did I not do water here? I did not do water here. We do leap seconds all at once globally? Well, the problem is, though, that with, with leap seconds, yeah, that's just a global thing. But the DST thing is not. Different people do it at different times, and some people don't do it at all, so you, I guess they just never thought to try doing it globally. Okay, let's save the game here. Uh, wait. No, we're gonna... What is this one? I didn't even ever look at my city name. Los Rico. That works. I think it's about time we went and found ourselves somebody to raid. And don't forget the southern hemisphere goes the other direction. Yeah. Oof. It does kind of make your head hurt. Oh, because they also spring forward and jump back, but they have it the other way around. Yes. That's true. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Haggis. Okay, let's see who's online. Looks like Pallet Box is on and playing something called Scum. I think I've seen him play that before. I still don't know a whole lot about it. Tea with Mandy is on. We haven't raided her in a long time. She's playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And actually, that uh, there's a lot of people on, but very few of them are people that I actually know. So I think we'll go with those. Which would you guys rather see? Would you like to go with Scum, or do you want to go see some Breath of the Wild with Mandy? I gave up on trying to figure it out. Vinesley is in Texas, so I just put an extra clock on my phone with Texas time. Texas, um, it's big enough that it might span different time zones, but I believe it's in the same time zone I'm in. I might be wrong. I haven't been there in almost 10 years. You put the correct city? Yeah. I think we're going to go with Mandy. It has been too long since we've raided Mandy. We always love raiding Mandy. She is the 
leader of the stream team, Stay Cozy, that I am a part of. So if you guys would like to come along with the raid, I would really appreciate it. Let's go and give her a good, um, a good showing. Uh, she's doing some Divine Beast stuff. She's got a cutscene going with Zelda herself. So presumably she's just gotten some memories or something. So uh, let me get you her link. We're going to raid tea with Mandy. Thank you, Alazar. It was really nice having you here. I appreciate it very much. Uh, okay. Oh, it actually did the raid link correctly. And the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave, uh, the wave emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you, yeah, you uh, feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe emotes from other streamers from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So let's get over to Mandy's channel and see what's going on. She is the epitome of comfy and cozy. Uh, so if if you're looking for, for some place to just kind of chill out and relax and uh, wind down for the night, after all the chaos of the time change, it's a really good place to go hang out. So let's go see how Breath of the Wild is treating her. I will be back on tomorrow night. I have no idea what I'm playing tomorrow. I might try to do some more Star Citizen if I can, but they just released one of the biggest patches they've ever released. And even though they released it, like, what day is it today? Sunday? They released it on Friday, and the servers are still not really working, so uh, it, it's up in the air when I'm going to get to play that one next, but uh, if, if it's working, I might try tomorrow, so we'll see. Whatever I end up playing, you know it's going to be a good time. So, thank you all so much for making this a really chill, really fun, really chaotic stream, oddly enough. Uh, I've really appreciated it. It's been a great time. I hope you've had a good time. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is we are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. Wow. He has a bad motivator. What's this giant thing? <laughs> 